this thing started happening, like where every time I'd start a job, I'd get super psyched about it. And like slowly over time, I'd realize that like I was evolving at a certain pace and my job just couldn't accommodate that. So like I'd be like here and my job would be holding me back. So I'd find a new job that had sort of evolved to the level that I was at. And then I'd have to leave that. And after a while, I just felt like, like just like a loser. Like, can I can't, I keep on quitting these jobs. What the hell am I doing? Like, you know, my family's like, I started a new job. And then at some point I was just like, screw it. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, um, just gonna start working for myself. And uh, I did, and the first time I did that, felt horribly like lost money. And, and I, but the reason I lost money is because I, I just, I started a business because I thought it was a good idea. I was like, this is a great idea. How could everyone not love it? And I started it and, and again, it failed. And at that point that I, I resolved that I really needed to understand market research. Um, I needed, see most people create products um, and they create a business because they think it's a good idea um, and they find out after they've created their first product or whatever, often after spending like a year or so developing it, that no one wants what they have to sell, that there isn't a market for it, uh, that they can't sell to enough people uh, at high enough prices to justify what they're doing. So at that point, I just like geeked out on market research. And I geeked out not just on the market research, but also on testing. Um, you know, there's just so much information out there uh, from Google, from like just a million different places uh, where we can get numbers on what people are buying, on what the trends are, on what's going on. And if you take that information, you can actually test uh, before you create a product whether or not people want to buy it. And there's a lot of like really, it sounds sketchy, there's a lot of really ethical ways to do that. It's called, um, it's called um, dry testing or uh, that's what the old copywriters used to do, uh, or or testing at the cash register, like testing whether or not people want to buy your thing by like asking them to actually buy it, and then before you take your credit card, you you know there's there's just all kinds of things you can do. Um, so I I mastered that and I started to teach it to people. I made this thing called the business idea litmus test. It was really like amateur. I just like got in front of the computer, was like hey, here's how you do it, and I was recording stuff on the screen. Thousands of people ended up downloading that, and that became the impetus for uh, Project Mojave. Uh, 